Hello, and welcome back to Bite-Sized Neo4j for Data Scientists. This is part 22 in our overall series, um, but it's part four in this series within a series that we're doing, um, looking at SQL versus Neo4j. Today, we're going to do a compare and contrast calculation of how to calculate degree. Um, now, degree, if you recall, is the number of relationships coming into or out of a node. We have in degree, the number of relationships coming in, out degree, the number of relationships going out, and total degree is the sum of the two. My name is Claire Sullivan. I'm a data science advocate at Neo4j, and here's how you can reach me on the internet. So just a reminder, we have some links associated with this series. The first is how to create a free Neo4j sandbox instance. The second is all of the past videos of this series. And the third is the repository containing all of the code. Now, um, we have been working with this database of airline routes around the world, and we're going to continue that. Um, if you don't have your SQL or your Neo4j databases populated, that's not a problem. Here are uh, some, here's the code for how you can do that, both in SQL and in Cypher. So let's get started. We're going to calculate today the uh, in degree and total degree of different airports within, just destination airports within our uh, our data here. So let me just quickly remind you of what this data looks like. So that iRoutes table is showing source and destination airports. Um, so we can see, you know, just a few of these. We have source column and destination column. Okay, so that's great. Let's calculate in degree. Now this is a pretty straightforward SQL query here. Okay, so we're going to select our destination and we're going to count the number of instances of that destination from this table. And I'm just going to order it by in degree, just so you can see which airports have the highest in degree. Um, FRA is Frankfurt, CDG is Charles de Gaulle. So if anybody does a lot of travel here, these shouldn't be a surprise. These are major hub airports. Um, okay, so that's a pretty straightforward query, and it's in the in degree.sql query. Um, now let's look at the total degree. Okay, now total degree is the, the number of relationships both coming in and out of our node. Okay, now what I want you to do is this is actually, it's a little bigger query than we had before. And there's, there's a bunch of ways to do this. You'll find out that I'm a big fan of common table expressions, CTEs. So I do this as a few CTEs, um, one to calculate the in degree and one to calculate the out degree, and then I just sum them up. Okay, so we're going to run this. Okay, so let's give this a go. Um, Okay, here we go. All right, now not a lot has changed. We see that our total degree for Frankfurt is the highest in the world. Um, and then we see a whole bunch of airports, Charles de Gaulle. If you go down, there's Munich, Chicago O'Hare, Dallas, Fort Worth. Okay, these are all pretty big hub uh, airports. So again, not a surprise. But the thing that I want you to take away is that complete degree.sql file, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit more involved of a query. Okay, that's good. Let's just, let's compare now how we would do that in Neo4j. So here I have my sandbox instance already populated. You can see my schema here. Um, and we're just looking at airports having routes to other airports. We're not using any of the other nodes or relationships. Okay, so now I'm in the part22.sql file, and we're going to calculate our in degree here. So I'm copying and pasting the first query in here. Now let me tell you what we're looking at. Okay, so we're finding all airports within our data, and using those airports, we are going to calculate a relationship. We're going to find a relationship here. And basically what we're saying is A, our airport, and this in arrow, okay, that means in degree, that's our relationship coming into that node A. And we're saying it specifically has this type of relationship called has route. And, and we don't really care what, what's coming in, um, but we're going to return um, our airport code and the degree here. This is actually our in degree. Um, and here's what we get. It'll take just a second here. OK, so we get the same results, fortunately, that we got in SQL. So that's good. We see Frankfurt and Charles de Gaulle and everything like that. Now, let's calculate the total degree. OK, and this is really what I want you to take away, is check this out here. Now, all I've done is I've gotten rid of that arrow. I say that that arrow, you know, there is no relationship direction here that we're implying. So that means it could be coming into A or out of A. Okay, let's give that a run. 
And we see again, um, we have the same degrees as what we got in SQL, and we see the same airports showing up here. So that's good. But bear in mind here how small this query is. Okay, this is a really, really easy query to write as opposed to what we had in SQL. So um, just I want you to keep that in mind as we're comparing SQL to Cypher that when you have graph data, frequently the queries are much easier if you do this in a graph database rather than not. So um, I just want to again say, uh, oh, let me give you a challenge problem here. I want you to try and implement PageRank in SQL. I'll talk about this next week. Um, but there, there's a reason that is a challenge, okay? So if you figure it out, go post it as an issue within the repository. And I just want to say thank you. Please reach out on the internet, on Twitter, if you have any suggestions for future videos. We'll talk to you soon.